just finished putting some banana and chocolate chip muffins and a cake in the oven and now I am going to cook some special dinner just come along with me stay tuned and you will see what I do I'm doing a cost effective dinner here and hopefully it will be done within an hour let's get started I have a pot on the stove and I'm just going to go ahead and gather my ingredients because I won't put anything in the pot until it starts boiling. I think I have to save these potatoes for planting. They're all growing. Not that's enough potatoes because I'm going to put some spoon dumplings in. So, I'm going to start with some coriander. dried parsley a few seeds of pimento aka allspice cumin Hydrated onions and some chili flakes, and I'm going to grind everything. Now, I'm 
made by spoon dumplings. My flour is almost done. Okay, I need to refill the jar. I'll just get some more from the bag. Basically, just gonna spoon them just like that. Much like how you make spinners, but I just don't spin them with my hands. I cut them with the spoon. That's why I call them spoon dumplings. Get some more water in the pot I have hot water so that it just it doesn't slow down the cooking process I'm gonna get my onions all cut up I'm gonna put the onions in next using both white onions and red onions. garlic in. Give it a little stir. Cover it back. And now I am gonna peel some veggies.
So now I am going to peel the potatoes. That's what's going on in the pot. Peel these carrots. So I'm just going to chunk up the carrots. Chunk, chunk, chunk. And put them all in the pot to harmonize. There we go. Now let the pot boil for another 20 minutes or so, and then let's see what happens. Check this out. I just finished making some banana chocolate chip muffins, Yum. and they're really good. And so now I'm finishing up my dinner over here and it's time to put in my secret ingredient. I am making a soup, but what happens is in Jamaica, we have something that we call fish tea. So fish tea is a light soup that we use with veggies and, um, of course, fish. Usually what you do is use the fish head. And my mom would boil the fish head before and strain the, the, the fish head with the bones, everything off, then put the broth back in the pot. And then she would pick up the fish head to get all the little meat that she could get from the fish head and put it back in the pot and then proceed to put our veggies and seasoning and make her fish tea. Now, I don't have fish, but I have sardines. It's a fish, right? And so, yeah, I have used sardines to make a fish tea, a good one at that. It's very good. So my sardines are what I'm calling my secret ingredient now you saw what i did all of that before so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the sardines to the pot and then i'm going to let the pot boil for just about another 10 minutes or so because the food is cooked i just want to get the sardines um the, the sardines are already cooked too but I just want to get them to make the pot taste like fish tea. And believe me, guys, it is good. So if you have sardines and you have some veggies, try some sardine fish tea or fish soup. It's a light soup, but still it has veggies in there. So you have something to eat. And I'm putting three tins in because we do want some sardine to eat, right? We just don't want the taste. There we go. All the sardine is in. I'm just gonna add a little more water, but I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna boil the water before I add it to the pot because I don't want cold water to slow up the cooking process, right? Get in the water ready so I'm just gonna pour a little bit just about a half a cup of water and I am also gonna grind some more 
um, pimento and the pimento actually will cut through any rawness that's in the soup there we go then I'm gonna let it go ahead and cook for um, five to ten minutes and then we'll be ready to eat I think it's ready rock steady yeah come and look at it bubbling away that's it it is done so I'm gonna go ahead turn it off and then I'm gonna share That's it, family. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.